the hate army troll. It's the hate army, bro. Hate army. Shout that out guy. to hate. hate. Army. Good vibes to the Shout hate out to army. Hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out Shout to out hate. hate. Shout out to hate. Shout out for Shout hate. Shout out for hate. <laughs> uh, Bone Nose Tecmo says, I don't think you identify with your audience anymore. These zoomers watching just don't have the attention span. But Bono's Tecmo, I think the point I'm making is that's not my whole audience. It was back in the day. When I was at first a YouTuber making gameplay videos, it was all about the low attention span, fast moving, give us instant gratification viewer, right? Now, it's more of a bit of a, a balance. I do have people who are older, who've been along for the ride with me for a while, and they like the, the different style. In fact, to give you some perspective, okay, I can pull up the analytics literally right now. If I go to my audience and I go to demographics, are you ready for this? 50%, that's half of my audience, is between the ages of 25 and 34. 21% of my audience is between the ages of 35 and 44. So with those two age groups, young adults into middle age is 70% of my viewers. So what percentage of my viewers are young and want instant gratification and have low attention spans? 18%. They're 18 to 24, and actually 13 to 17 year olds, 1%. So no teenagers are actually watching me. It's young adults into middle age. <laughs> and if you're curious, after that, it's 45 to 54 year olds, 6%. So that's what it is, is as people are getting older now, they're not about the whole crazy run into the new game, instant gratification, rush through it anymore, right? They want to sit back and watch me play Stardew and hang out with me. They want to go on a chill stream and have a good time. They want to relax as I react to something. You know, that's more our pace. And that's cool. That's totally fine. You know, I'm not, I'm not upset with that whatsoever. I'm happy to do that. And as I think as I get older, that's what's going to happen. And let's be honest, right? We will have to transition into kind of different kinds of content as I get older anyway. I won't be able to play Elden Ring and she fighter six forever i'm happy that i'm 42 years old and i still am able to that's pretty cool you know but as i get older it's going to change right my hand eye coordination my carpal tunnel all these things are going to make it so that i can't really do that kind of stuff anymore right <laughs> so anyway what are things that i could do on stream that are not necessarily just sitting here playing a video game or maybe it would be doing something a little different with video games that you guys would enjoy. Like, for example, one of the things you're talking about would be like maybe me building le a Lego model of, of a certain kind or, or a, a different kind of model and then like just interacting and talking with you guys while I do it right here in the office. Uh, another thing was like, like board games, like maybe getting a board game video game because that's so different, but you could chill while you play a board game video game. Or maybe, uh, like, like some people were saying there actually are single-player board games. And I was like, what is it? Like a, a single-player RPG or something? I don't know. You're rolling dice, and that's what it's really about, is the le level of chance of rolling the dice or whatever. Um, I'm not sure. So, But we were talking about this yesterday, trying to get ideas of rather than it always being about let's just keep playing video games, that we could start doing different stuff, right? And I'd be okay with that. I feel like that would be fun uh, to do something different and just try it. It doesn't have to be something that we do all the time or something that even necessarily will work, but just to try something different rather than we always doing the same thing over and over. And yes, I'm aware Lego is expensive. We talked about this. Like, for example, they have this this awesome, uh, what's the name of the tree? The Deku tree from Zelda. It's an amazing Lego set. It looks so good. And it's like $300. It's like, no, if I were to try out something like that, it would not be a ginormous, expensive Lego set to start. It, let's say, for example, we decide we want to give it a demo stream. So one night for a two-hour stream, I buy a simple Lego set of something neat. You know, I'll try to find something that's, that's good, that's either pop culture related or, you know, video game related. And we put it together. It's a, a simple one. It doesn't take a long time. And we talk and we chill as I do it. If, if it is you know, well engaged and supported. If people come to hang out and they support the stream, I could then use the funds from that stream to go buy the next Lego set, do you see? So it, again, it would depend on how well it goes. If it ends up being really slow, then no, it's not an ongoing idea that could work, but I would be okay with like doing Lego nights every once in a while and then I go buy the next one or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like that would be kind of cool, I feel. <clears throat> 
<laughs> but that was, you know, one idea. Like I said, I feel like as I get older, we should start to branch out to find other things to do together rather than just me sitting here playing a video game all day. Right? Avery says, would the office be sufficient? Would you have to reposition your camera? I'm sure we could figure it out. Like, if we're doing a Lego night, I can just take those being put together and stuff. That definitely could happen. Building a birdhouse? I don't know if I'm that handy, Candy, because a birdhouse would be, like, glue and, and fucking wood and shit. I don't know. I'm talking about, like, things that are simple. A simple snap-together kind of a model or, you know, a Lego that you just put the pieces together. I don't know about actually, like, handsy craftsman work like that. <laughs> Oh, God, Ikea building tutorials. You really, you want me to buy something from Ikea and try to put it together on a stream? Now you guys are torturous. <laughs> you guys just want to torture me. You don't want to have fun and chill with me. You want to actually, like, laugh at me. <clears throat> yeah, what do we could do? I would take this camera and I would reposition it to aim down at my folding table that I have right here. Because it's a big square. It's about two square feet. It's not bad. It's a good it's a good size to build a Lego. And I would have the pieces over here and I would just put them together on the table with the camera aimed down so you'd see my hands building the Legos. And I could always jump on camera every once in a while or just re, you know, but that's doable. <clears throat> this this tripod is a gun style. You know what that means? You squeeze the handle like you're squeezing the handle of a gun and it actually then moves around on a turret. So I could easily aim the camera down at a table to do something on the table and then just bring it back up and aim it back at my setup. It's actually designed to do that. Yeah, so that would not be a problem at all with this current tripod I have. <clears throat> Jigsaw puzzles? I don't know if that would be fun. Jigsaw puzzles? Eh. Isn't that really... Like, with a Lego thing, at least, like... You, there's an end product that could be a piece of decoration that maybe I could put behind me in my setup. And it's cool, cool to talk while you do it. And you see it come together slowly. A jigsaw puzzle is kind of like, I don't know. Like, I feel like a jigsaw puzzle is fun to do for yourself. Or it's fun to do with a friend. I don't know if you want to do it on a stream. I don't think that would be very fun. And I don't have a big area for jigsaw puzzles. A Lego is going to sit there in one spot. And it's not going to, you know, it's three-dimensional. While, you know, jigsaw puzzle is 2D and you need a big open space to do it. So I don't think the puzzle would really work. I think it'd be pretty boring. <clears throat> That's true too. Bookworm says anything less than a thousand piece puzzle is kind of too simple. Like he says for babies and it would just take far too long to do a thousand piece puzzle. I, you're right. It would take forever. So I would like to start brainstorming ideas like this. I think this was a good idea when we started talking about this yesterday and I was like, ah, oh, that's not, that's not bad. You're doing something different and i have the tripod to do it to aim differently in the room and do different things so i'd be down for something different like that uh, you'd have to stare at my hands all day that are eczema ridden you know they don't look that bad but some days they look pretty bad depends on the day but uh <laughs> but outside of that uh you know i think it would be pretty pretty neat to try something different right so so let me know give me your thoughts on this idea do you like the Lego idea? I kind of like the Lego idea, but maybe I'm just not educated enough to know what other things we could do together. Because I'm sure there's a few other things that probably would work. I'm just, you know, I'm a dunce. I don't know what's going on in pop culture today with that kind of stuff. Um, I don't think a puzzle would work, but maybe something else, a simple model. I know they have snap together models and things like that that you can do. Maybe something cool like that to build together. And then you could have it as part of my background setup and stuff like that after the fact. And again, if the streams do well, I wouldn't be opposed to then growing into something bigger like hell if these streams are doing well i could get an expensive lego set and we could build that together too right but it need to do well so we have to see how they do right